Welcome friends to the lecture series of digital electronics made simple. Today in this lecture, we will discuss application of XOR gate. Friends, there are many applications of XOR gate. XOR gate as a control inverter, bit comparator, parity generator, parity checker. See, 8-bit controlled or program inverter using XOR gate. It is 8-bit. So, 8 XOR gates are used. The inverter control input is applied to the one input of each XOR gate. It is an active high input and the data input from D0 to D7 is applied to the other input of XOR gate. Here we get Y0 to Y7 outputs. Now see how it works. Suppose first case, if invert input is 1 and the data input is 11010010. Here D7 is 1, invert is 1. So there are two 1 inputs at the input of XR gate. Hence we get Y7 0 output. Similarly, see D0 is 0 and invert is 1. Means there are odd number of 1s at the input. So we get y0 output 1. See, in this way, here the input data is complemented, means we get one's complement of the input number at the output. Second case, if invert is 0, if this invert is 0, the input data is same, then here d7 is 1, invert is 0, odd number of 1's at the input. So we get Y7 output 1. Similarly here, D0 input is 0, invert is also 0, E1 number, so we get here 0 output. In this way, we get the same number at its output, means it is not complemented. It is called as a control inverter because using this control input, we can complement or uncomplement the input binary number. Now, the second application, bit comparator using XOR gate. This is the diagram. Here, two input binary numbers are given. What is the function of bit comparator? It compares the magnitude of two input binary numbers and determines whether the numbers are equal or not. Here, if the output is 1, then both input binary numbers are equal and if we get y output 0, then the input binary numbers are not equal. See the example. Suppose a1, a0 is 0, 1, b1, b0 is also 0, 1. Hence here, 1, 1. A0, B0, 1, 1 is applied to the input of upper XOR gate. Hence, we get its output 0. Because there are two 1s at the input, means even number of 1s at the input, so we get the 0 output. This inverter inverts that, so we get here 1. Then, A1 and B1 are applied to the inputs of lower XOR gate. Here again we get 0 output, here we get 1 and finally at the output of AND gate we get 1 output. As we get Y output is equal to 1 means both numbers are equal. These both numbers are equal. See the second case. Suppose the input numbers are A1, A0, 1, 1 and B1, B0 are 0, 1. So here, 1, 1 are applied. Here we get 0 output. At the output of NOT gate, we get 1. Now, A1, 0, A1, 1 and B1, 0 is applied at the input of second XOR gate. There are odd number of 1s at the input. So we get here 1 output and here we get 0. This AND gate multiplies both inputs 1 into 0 and we get 0 output. As the Y output is 0 means 
both numbers are not equal. See parity generator. First, we will see what is a parity. Parity defines the total number of one bits in a binary number is odd or even. So there are two types of parity. Even parity and odd parity. Even parity means if the total number of one bit in a binary number is even, then the number is said to have even parity. Otherwise, it will have odd parity. See in this number, there are total number of ones are four. So this number has even parity. In the next number, there are total number of ones are five. So this number has odd parity. Now we will see parity generator. The function of parity generator is to attach the extra bit to the original binary number to make the number of ones even or odd. So there are also two types of parity generator, even parity generator and odd parity generator. Let us see even parity generator. This is the simple diagram. Here the input binary number original input number is applied to the input of XOR gate. This is the extra bit X8. For example, suppose the input binary number is 11010101. Here the total number of ones are 5 means the original number has odd parity and we have to generate the number which has a even parity. So this number is given to the input of XOR gate. As there are total number of ones are odd, so it use one output. So this is the original binary number and this one is attached. So the total number of one becomes six. And hence this number has even parity. Similarly, we can see odd parity generator. The diagram is same except here not get is attached. Here, suppose this input number, the number of ones are 5. So, input number has odd parity. When it is given to this XOR gate, it will generate one output. This not get inverts that one and gives us zero output. So, zero is attached to the original number. Hence, the parity of this number remains odd. In this way, even an odd parity generator works. Thank you.